Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, pag-uusapan naman natin ang tungkol sa ordinary and exact interest. Okay. Ordinary and exact interest. So change the number of days to fractional form in terms of year when substituting to simple interest formula. Ordinary interest is computed in 360 days in a year as the time factor for the denominator while exact interest computed on 365 days in a year. So we have ordinary interest, T is equal to number of days over 360. And for exact interest, T is equal to number of days over 365. Example, what amount should be paid on August 22, 2015 for a loan of 5,000 pesos made on May 30, 2015 at 10%. Compute ordinary interest using approximate time, ordinary interest using actual time, exact interest using approximate time, and exact interest using actual time. So sa solution, ang una muna natin gagawin, hahanapin muna natin yung approximate time. Okay, so sinabi dun sa... Sa problem, uh, what amount should be paid on August 22, 2015? So, doon palang babayaran sa so, August 22. Yung utang na yun ay noong May 30, 2015. So, from May 30, 2015 to August 22, 2015. So, yung latest muna unahin natin. So, 2015, yung August is 08, tapos yung day 22, minus 2015, May 30. Okay? So, approximate time muna tayo, no? So, dito, hindi pwede, 22 minus 30. So, manghihirap tayo ng isang buwan dito sa 8 months. So, magiging 7 na lang to, tapos ito. Yung hiniram nating 1 month ay equivalent sa 30 days. So, mag ng 30. So, this is 52 days minus 30. So, we have 22. Okay. Then, 7 minus 5 is 2. So, we have 2 months and 22 days. Okay. So, we have 2 months and 22 days or equal to 82, 82 days. Okay. Kasi dito, ang 1 month sa approximate time ay 30 days kada buwan. So, 60 plus 22, 82 days. Okay, so approximate time to no? So, approximate time. Then, to sa actual time naman, actual time, so, mula May 30, 2015, so, alam natin ng May ay merong 31 days. Okay? So, minus natin 30. So, meron pa tayong 1 day para sa May. May natitira pa tayong ano, sa araw. Number of days. Tapos, May, June, July, August. Okay? So, sa June, 30 sa so July 31 then August 22 okay so add natin total niyan ganyan yung mismo yung actual number of days natin no so we have 2 4 and 8 so we have 84 days pagdating sa actual time okay mula oh, May 30 2015 hanggang August 22 2015 so this is actual no actual time Okay, so next, ngayon alam na natin yung approximate time at actual time. Ang gagawin naman natin is ipa-plug in natin yung time, though depende kung ordinary interest or exact interest. Okay, doon muna tayo sa letter A, ordinary interest using approximate time. So, doon sa time, kapag ordinary interest, ang divisor natin doon is 360. Okay, so I is equal to P R 
T. Okay, yung T natin doon, tandaan natin yung T kapag ordinary interest using approximate time. Ordinary interest, number of days. In divisor natin, 360. So dito, uh, number of days. Yung T natin dito na, number of days. Over 360. Okay? So, using approximate time, gagamitin natin yung 82 days. Okay? Do sa number of days. 82 days. So, I is equal to, yung principal na doon sa given I 5,000. Then, yung rate, interest rate is 10% or 0.10. Then, number of days. So, using approximate time, gagamitin, gagamitin natin yung 82 days. So, 82 over 360. Okay? So, calculator natin. Yung interest is equal to 113.89 pesos. Okay. Para malaman naman natin, yung maturity value, so we have F, is equal to P plus I. So, P is 5,000 plus 113.89. So, yung maturity value is 5,113.89 pesos. Okay, yung next naman yung ordinary interest using actual time. So, same pa rin dun sa ating time. We, we have number of days over 360. Okay? Kasi pinag-uusapan natin ay ordinary interest. So, tatandaan nyo lang kapag ordinary interest, ang ating divisor dito pagdating sa time ay 360. So, I is equal to principal natin ay 5,000 times yung rate which is yung 10% or 0.10. Then, number of days. So, using actual time, yung 84 naman yung gagamitin natin. So, yung 84 over 360. I-calculator natin. Yung interest is equal to 116.67 pesos. Okay? Then, para doon naman sa maturity amount, yung F is equal to P plus I. So, E natin ay 5,000 plus 116.67 is equal to 5,116.67. Okay, letter C. Exact interest using approximate time naman. So, exact interest, yung ating divisor doon ay magiging 365 na, no? So, I is equal to 5,000 times rate, which is 0 0.10. Tapos, number of days, uh, using approximate time, 82 over 365. Okay. So, I is equal to 112.33 pesos. Okay. Then, yung ating maturity value is equal to principal plus I. We have 5,000 plus 112.33 is equal to 5,112.33 pesos. Okay. Ayan. Okay, so letter D, exact interest using actual time. So, I is equal to PR times time, which is number of days over 365. So, I is equal to 5,000 times 10% or 0 0.10. Number of days, okay, using actual time, so we, use, we will use 84 over 365. So, I is equal to... 119.44 okay. 
yun yung interest, 119.44. Then, maturity amount. So, principal plus interest. Yan, 5,000 plus 119.44. So, that is equal to 5,119.44. Kapag ordinary interest, Ang divisor natin pagdating sa time ay 360. Sa exact interest naman, pagdating sa time, ang divisor natin ay 365. Meron din tayong tinatawag na banker's method. So, bank or lending institutions compute interest charges on annual basis. That is for 360 days. Okay? Yun yung base yan, 360 days. Ito yung example ng banker's method. Suppose Mr. JJ borrows 150,000 pesos on May 10 at 12% interest. How much interest is earned 150 days later and the amount to be paid? Okay, so solution I is equal to PR times number of days over 360. So kapag banker's method, do sa time ang divisor natin ay 360. So I is equal to principal which is 150,000 times rate is 12% or 0 0.12 times number of days sinabi naman doon na 150 days over 360 so yung i is 7,500 pesos okay then, yung maturity amount, we have principal plus interest is equal to 150,000 plus 7,500. Maturity amount is equal to 157,500 pesos. Okay, so try nyo naman to, no? So given natin, principal, 120,000 pesos, yung interest rate, 8.5% 8 and yung time from June 29, 2015 to October 12, 2015. So find the interest and maturity value using okay, ordinary interest, approximate time, ordinary interest, actual time, exact interest approximate time and exact interest actual time okay so bali apat yung hanapin niyo diyan okay so try niyo na okay, thank you for watching